Now we're taking a look at a local used car lot just to see what's available. Hearing so much about the uh, automotive market, want to see what's actually uh, on the ground. Uh, 2013 Avalon, 15 grand. Hybrid. Oddly, that's kind of a good deal. The hybrids are high in demand and hard to get. Not sure about the colors, but trying to get the best deal. Kia Sportage. 2011, go 140,000 miles. Wow, that seems kind of high. 140,000 miles. What could possibly be left in this thing? Down to 8,300. Almost priced. Another Kia. Maybe this is a Kia place. 2018 Nero. 20 miles. Over 100,000 miles. You always have to compare to the price of new when you're pricing used. Awesome Jeeps. Grand Cherokee. It's a gold color. Well, their interior, how many miles? 119,000 miles. Uh, just under $15,000. I also know if it has leather. Grand Cherokee, let's see. Limited. Alright. Cheap Latitude. I want to say this is Italian made or something. I've heard. I mean, it's very different. Oh, only 50,000 miles. A little less miles. Sun Rough Cloth Interior, 16 grand. That's probably not a horrible deal. Kind of small. Seems like an odd seating position. And like the windshield's a little more flat. These are, yeah, these are locked. All right, Chrysler van. Is this the only product Chrysler makes now? I thought they still had one car left, but maybe not. 2022 Pacifica, 22,000. Nice interior, 77,000 miles. Uh, definitely a people hauler. Alright, let's see, Ford Explorer must be. This is what uh, a lot of the police around this area drive, so uh, yeah, I'd be f ready for everybody to slow down that's in front of you, thinking they're gonna get pulled over. 20,000. It's like cloth center, other edge. 86,000 miles. Kind of horrible based on the uh, price of these things now. Air Impala. I've had a few of these. Definitely the uh, average used car in Wisconsin. 2014 for just under 11. Doesn't sound horrible in today's market. 117,000 miles. This is a little higher than miles. Seems like it's partially leather, partially cloth. Like I like the uh, leather seats, so you can kind of slide in, slide out. The tan, tan in this must be a Ford Edge. Uh, I've had some cars with the tan interior, and it just seems to show uh, dirt. I've always been kind of a used car buyer. Feels like a better deal, even though it probably isn't. Seems like you're just buying somebody's problems half the time. Another Edge SEL. It's a little older, maybe. There's more of a plane. Oh, only eight grand. Yeah, that's got a ton of miles. Let's take a look. How many miles does this one have? 173,000 miles. Wow. That is up there. Moisture in the taillights. I mean, how many miles is it thing good for? Are you gonna buy it and it's gonna die? All right. Ford Equinox LTZ. It's a funny mark. It's right in there. It looks like it's a paint mark. All right, center off. Light leather interior. See that interior is like a tan, but it is definitely kind of stained. Only eight grand though. I mean, it's price of car. Look how bad these headlights are. I think that could be cleaned up. The finish is nice though. How many miles does this thing have? 190. Same thing, like I just don't see that many cars with over 200,000 miles. Because people are driving them. 
All right, decent for that many miles. All right, Ford Flex Fuel. Oh, see, she's got some rust on the body. This must be before the aluminum bodies. Oh yeah, look at that. Definitely before the aluminum bodies. Gray cloth interior. And the Ford is definitely a vehicle that you can uh, hide in because there's so many of them. 14. Nobody will see you because they uh, you'll just blend in. How many miles? 102,000 miles. So not a crazy amount of miles. But the rest is already starting to come in. You'd hope there's some better options out there. Uh, let's see what engine does this have. Oh, five liter, eight cylinder. Yeah, look at that rust too. I'm hoping that the uh, fours of the aluminum body are going to be better. Dodge regular cab. You don't see a lot of regular cabs. Twenty thirteen for seventeen grand. Open oh, window stickers over here. What are we at? Sixty eight thousand miles. Five point seven liter V eight. I really don't know how reliable those are now. I remember back in the day when the uh, automatic transmissions were going on all the time, but it seems like that's been uh, addressed. Tunnel cover is nice for the uh, snow country up here. Alright, forward looks a little bit newer. Kind of a short, short bed. No bed protection at all. Cloth seats, kind of gray. Six passenger. XLT. 25. For 2018. How many miles does he have? There's that sticker there. To... 81,000 miles. So not a crazy amount of miles. See, the body looks really nice. I think as a uh, used truck buyer, that aluminum body is going to be uh, kind of sought after. Although you're never going to know when the uh, frame's starting to rust. Well, that frame looks pretty good, but I would. Uh, I would think you'd have to coat it, rust proof it, and then the rust belt. I mean, look at that hitch. It's pretty rusty. Alright, GMC SLE. Yeah, definitely rust on the wheel well. Well, it's a GMC, it's gonna have rust, I guess. Black interior, it's passenger. I had one of these as a Chevy, and it just, well, it just didn't tow for nothing. It would shift all the time on the highway. Let's see, 95,000 miles, not a crazy amount of miles for 2011. And they're looking for 16 for it. Yeah, not horrible. Lincoln 2 liter turbo, all wheel drive. Looks like the rims are a little dirty. I couldn't tell if they were dirty or corroded. Well, there's seats, some detail to it. Yeah, $31,000. Some new cars out there for thirty-one thousand dollars. Maybe not as nice as this, but you at least know what you were getting. Twenty-six thousand miles. Not a crazy amount of miles. It looks like the uh, Ford Edge doesn't. Oh, well, this has got the little keypad at the door. What's up? Not horrible. Alright, let's see. This place must like ports, isn't it? Ford Edge. Actually, I believe this uh, this lot's associated with the uh, Ford new car store in the area. Because I've seen some vehicles advertised on their website that I find here. What's this thing? Escape. And then lower, so not quite as many white cars. 2022. Oh, 104,000 miles out of 2022. Looks like they're trying to make it look like porch headlights. 15,000. This is like a good deal. Alright, Subaru, this is the kind of thing you need for Wisconsin winters. A little bit of ground clearance and uh, some good traction. 100,000 miles. Asking 18. Uh, 17.6. I think I'd go get a new one and pay just, well, maybe it'd be 10,000 more, but you know what happened to it. This Crosstrick seems like they're more popular. 
That was really nice. XLT Ford Explorer. Over that 100,000 miles. See, it's always a trade off for how new to how many miles. It really seems like miles makes a big difference. But uh, corrosion definitely makes a difference with uh, how old it is. I mean, sometimes they've been kept inside, but I've had cars that you can't get anything apart to fix. Can't fix it because everything's corroded. Gotta do brakes or something, and uh, it's been sitting out in Wisconsin winters. It's completely corroded. Let's see, went across these. I guess that was the center. There's no uh, stickers or anything in there. Avalon, pretty fun functional family car. Little SUV, little SUV. I miss these. Nissan pickup. I want to say Titan, but that's not it. Oh, Frontier. We've got that new Frontier, which is, uh, I don't really like the design of it. I like, I don't like a slider front. I was never a fan of the uh, overly aerodynamic. I remember when the uh, Ford Taurus came out, I thought it was the ugliest thing ever made. Oh, well, this has got that little thing that flips out for more storage space. Tunnel cover. I don't know what color this is, some kind of brown. It seems very functional. Kind of wonder how much room's in that back seat for legroom compared to the uh, Toyota Tacoma. Yeah, see, look at this, a 2022 Highlander XLE. 64,000 miles and I still want over $30,000 for it. Nice seat, sunroof. Kind of an odd chrome rail. Oh, it looks like it's painted, but. I mean, functional family car, but I don't know if that price used, I don't know. I guess I just always want a deal and I don't want to have to pay for it. Should be Equinox. I'm not even sure what these are new now. 54,000 miles. Part of the uh, calculation is how used up is it? These things I've seen uh, broke down a lot. Journey 12,000, 87,000 miles. I guess I, I don't know, I've just had so much trouble with Dodges. I've never been much of a Dodge fan. I've had a few Toyotas and they've been, they've worked really well for me. It's a little more of a Toyota fan. Although when you do need something done, the, uh, well, the Toyota dealer wanted just some insane fee for their diagnostic fee. I went in and got a, uh, just a plug changed on the radio. A little jack to plug in the radio. It was like $300 for the $10 part. Definitely learned my lesson that time. All right, I think we walked through everything in the slot. Oh, there's a couple more. Nice fall day, I guess a good day to go for a walk. Film this on a Sunday, since in Wisconsin, the car lots are all closed on Sunday. I'm trying to, uh, I guess, not bother salespeople. So we got a Camry over here, another Camry. I believe the Camry has got that uh, hybrid that's like 50 miles to the gallon. It's kind of odd seats. It looks like leather with cloth in there, unless it is. Maybe that's leather in the seat. Oh, it's open. Oh, it feels like leather. It's not quite so bad. Oh, let's see, 62,000 miles, business use, 2021. Navigation system problem? Oh, entertainment center doesn't work or something. Some of that stuff doesn't matter. SE. Seems like nice, uh, nice interior for an SE. 
I had so many silver cars. I've just never liked silver cars because that's what they often are. It seems like the uh, cruddy colors are the ones that you can find for sale. Oh, you always gotta wonder why a car got put up for sale. These returns are probably ideal, maybe. At least it was planned. All right, curious if uh, the mic's picking up any of the wind. It's really windy right here. Cooper S. Countryman. I feel like I would not fit in this. I've sat in a Mini Cooper in the front seat, but I don't really remember how bad it was. All four? I don't know if that's four. Oh, there's no window stick in this. All right, it's cute. It's open by chance. Oh, I would sit up and see, see the big panoramic roof. <laughs> yeah, that big might be on. I don't know, not the term for countrymen. All right, I think that's everything on this slot. I'm gonna cut this off.